Bill and Irene, we got a loaded show today because, first of all, we have one of the lovable critters from here at Bush Gardens. This one is the Savannah Monitor. It's one of those big, huge things. We're going to learn a little about them. Plus, I've been watching, there are some stories that you guys didn't pick up from the Weekly World News. I mean, these are big stories. We're going to get into those. It's Tabloid Tuesday, and Charles Knight is here, and he's making something that he's not quite sure, I think, what it is. But it's, uh, <laughs> now, what you called it, you said it was... Uh, stuff soul. Well, you said it was baked stuff soul. Ba baked stuff soul. But your yeah. wife, Leanne, says, no, it's poached stuff soul. Poached stuff soul. Uh, so right. there's some debate here as to whether it's poached or baked. Uh, now, where I come from, Poach stole a soul is something. Stole? Stole well, it stole is. It's something you stole. That's it. how we you, got it. If you poached it. So this is baked poached soul uh, in a whatever sauce there. That means they stole the soul and they're baking it. Is That's that right? right? It was okay. Soul, soul We've solved it now. It's, it's <laughs> or you could call it boached. Boached. Okay, that's a possibility. That's all coming up at noon thirty. We'll resolve this thing one way or another. Plus these stories here, you guys didn't cover. I can't believe it. All right, Jack. And there was such a nice article about him in the paper today. I know. Yeah. And Oh, we'll tune in and yeah, find okay. out. Right. Doubt if we'll cover that. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you happen to wake up sn from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. It's Harrison Company. And now, here's your host, the Cracker Jack, Jack Jack, Jocular Jack Harris. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, welcome to Bush Gardens. What a terrific audience today. And welcome to Harrison Company. And oh, are you in good company? Because Charles Knight is here to do his baked, poached, stolen, stuffed, whatever it is, soul in some kind of sauce. We have a lovable critter from here at Bush Gardens, and in fact, this one is a throwback to prehistoric times, the Savannah Monitor. And also, it's Tabloid Tuesday, and on top of that, we have a game show we're going to do. But what a job done for this outstanding out-of-state, off-stage announcer. Big round of applause for David Trapaz. David Trapaz. Whoa, David. Let me hold your uh, microphone right here. Now, the first thing I want to do is, Scotty, can you get a close-up of this name tag here? Can you get in close on that? Look at that. T-R-Z-E-P-A-C-Z. -Z. That's uh, your Chinese, right? <laughs> now, what is, what is uh, that? Polish. It's Polish? Yes. What does that mean in Polish? Uh, don't know. <laughs> I mean, there was a vowel shortage wherever you came from. That's, uh, <laughs> but you don't know what that means. You got to check no. on that. Where are you from? Uh, Utica, New York. What's Utica famous for? Nothing, really. <laughs> ah, that's what I like about my hometown, famous for absolutely nothing. What do you do up there for a living? Uh, I go to school. Oh, really? How, uh, how are you out of school down here? Uh, vacation. Y'all are having vacation time already and you just yeah. got back from Christmas and everything? Yep. Is this spring break or still Christmas break? Uh, spring break. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. just a little time yeah. off and everything like that. Well, you did a great job. Do you have a girlfriend or wife or anything like that here with you? Uh, no. That, do you have one back there? Would you like to take one from here back with you? Yeah. Okay. Well, here in Florida, we ship. So there you go. You'll love it. David, you did a terrific job. Have a seat and relax, and we'll call on you again in a few minutes. I ask you now, Joe, Rob, Scotty, does this not look like a natural-born key grip? This lady, what's your name? Hilda Ramsayer. Well, Hilda, you're going to be our key grip. Can I just give you that right there? You just hang on to that because we have Tabloid Tuesday today. We do it every Tuesday when the tabloids come out. We like to give you the news first. And shockingly enough, we're finding things again and again that, that Bill and Irene missed in the newscast. I mean, stories that they should have covered. Look at this. Cruel boss makes employees wear dunce caps. If they don't like it, there's the door. And we found out the reason is he doesn't like for them to play leapfrog during office hours. <laughs> And the dunce caps keep them from doing that. So that's, uh... <clears throat> oh, well, look at this. Look at this. All right. I see. I see Russ Meyerson has struck here on the set of Harrison Company. Wait a minute. Here's another one. I can't believe they didn't cover. Look at that. Town's garbage men wear bikinis. And you see pictures of it. I mean, it's true. I understand the women in the neighborhood are complaining about them leaving their cans uncovered. So. <laughs> That's what they say. Well, they may not have gotten that one, but it is inconceivable they didn't cover this story. Look at this. World's biggest baby. 
happy and healthy, two-year-old girl is 303 pounds of fun. Says it right there. In fact, they uh, talked to the dad, and he said the only thing bad about it is all the screaming, uh, which the mother has been doing ever since delivery. So there you go. I guess that covers them all here. Yeah, on yeah. There's, there's one more. There's one more. What's that? Today, there was a big article in the Tampa Tribune about you. Oh, yes, yeah, that, well, that was, that was uh, uncalled for, very nice. It, uh, Tom Jackson for the Tribune wrote this, a very nice article, and I appreciate it very much. It wasn't so. that nice. What do you mean it wasn't that nice? That's the one I got. What is that? Oh, wait a minute, that's not, let me see that, that's not right. That's not the story, you doctored this thing up, Joe, take this, this is not that. We'll be back with more in a moment, that's not the way that originally was, I'll tell you. Forget about that. The world's most boring man didn't say that. We're talking about morning rain. 50,000 pairs of shoes have arrived at Pelt Shoes and are priced to sell. Magdesians of California present a spectacular selection of pumps, metallics, vinyls, and multis. Now available in sizes 4 to 12, super slim to wide widths. Lifestride Spectator's multis pattern and comfort flex pumps starting at just $29.99 are perfect for your wardrobe. Spring into style and comfort with Hush Puppies perforated pumps, mid-sling sandals, multis, and spectators. Incredible comfort and fantastic value. Hurry to Pelt Shoes for sizes, service, savings, and selection at 7121 22nd Avenue, North St. Petersburg. A lot of MCI customers confess they didn't get the savings they hoped for. We tried MCI <laughs> on that friends and family thing. I was very disappointed in the plan. I mean, if you want to give us savings, give us savings. Just give it to us. Introducing AT&T True USA Savings. If you spend $25 a month, you'll get 20% off your AT&T long distance calls. 20% off. Guaranteed. And the fact is, two out of three friends and family users on basic or prime time will save more on True USA Savings. I thought we were going to save a lot of money, and we didn't. The truth is, the average friends and family basic customer's discount is only 6%. I'm going to switch back to at and Call us at 1-800-PICK-ATT. The call's free. Switching is free. And you get 20% off every call you make in the USA. Anytime, anywhere, to anyone you call. Bye, UCI. <laughs> call us at 1-800-PICK-ATT. real you coming through your truth. This cooking segment is brought to you by Healthcraft, provider of cookware, cutlery, and food processing equipment for Harrison Company. Hey, it is that time of the week now when I get a cooking lesson from our good friend, the man who created Healthcraft cookware. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Mr. Charles Knight. Hey. <laughs> and I'm going to learn how to... Bake or poach? I guess poaching is when you do it with water with, and yeah, baking is when you whip it in the oven. Look, yeah, absolutely, with liquid. Well, what we're going to do today, actually, you're going to do the cooking. Aha, uh -huh, okay, okay, I'm so ready. We're going to get this uh, cooking lesson long. I want you to start with about a half. Of, oh, before I do that, i got to tell you, tomorrow I have to go to jail. You got to go to jail tomorrow. Are you on bail know, now or something? I, some celebrity in town, I don't know who it is, but. Uh, <clears throat> I've, it wasn't me. If you're talking Volunteered about jail and bail, <laughs> I did not do that. Where are you going to be in tomorrow, jail? Tomorrow I'll be at Hooters from 12 to 1. That's where you're going to be in jail? Yes. Whoa, I didn't volunteer you for <laughs> that. Lynn, I'd have done it myself. Lynn Austin. I would have done I'm not, it myself. I'm not, I'm not upset. Leanne's upset. Oh, okay. Your My wife. wife's upset. Yeah, I can imagine. But I, it's for mus muscular dystrophy, so I'll be there between one and uh, between 12 and 1, and I need you all to come out and bail me out. Which Hooters is that? On uh, Hillsborough Avenue. Hillsborough Avenue, yeah, the one in Tampa. Wells, okay. West Hillsborough. I didn't try to get out of that. I mean, you know. They said I've, some famous celebrity in Not me. I've seen me. worse places to be in jail. <laughs> now, how anyway, much this you do half of that, all right? Just do half, half of yeah, this yeah, bowl or half no, of this? No, half of that. Just okay. pour that in there. I was going to say, there's right? not enough in this thing for half of that. Well, I do all the cutting up. Hey, did you see our new cutting board? Isn't oh, that pretty neat? It's up on stilts. It's up on stilts, and look at see, it has a little bowl, or you can put a pan underneath like this and just brush everything in there. Isn't that a neat idea? Oh, that is. I cut that out. All right. That's We're always uh, thinking. All right, that's spinach right there. That's chopped spinach. Okay. Is all that right. half the can? That's about good. Just mix that oh, all. You know what I did here? I What's accidentally it? got some spinach on no, the spoon. Right. I can't get it out of the thing here. You're gonna now. mix it all together anyway. Just well, kind of mix it. I know, but it's all down in here. And Today. Can you imagine <laughs> opening this up and have flaky little spinach in there? Okay. All right, just mix it up real good. To that, we're gonna put some green onions. I've already cut up some chives. Right. This, this is getting greener and greener yep. as we go. And we're going to do some garlic. Oh, about, I love this. About three. Uh, oh. <laughs> Man, I guarantee we will keep wolves Garlic's away for months. For Garlic's good for you. Right? There will not be a werewolf around within 100 miles when we get this stuff <laughs> in here. Now, you know what's nice about this thing is only about uh, four, maybe five grams of fat per serving. 
I'm All still right. on that diet and doing pretty good. As a matter of fact, I started my exercise program yes, at St. Joseph's Hospital. They have an exercise program there. Are you actually doing anything? Yes. Just hanging no, I'm actually. The they have an exercise room there. We exercise. Oh, okay. I figure if I have a heart attack, I only got to go up two floors. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Not bad. All right. Now, here's what you do. You got it all mixed. What I want you to do is take a teaspoon of that and put it inside of that right there and just kind of spread it across. What we're going to do is what roll it. What do you mean it. inside? Well, like this. Here, just put it like right here. That doesn't have an inside. It's yeah. got an outside. And now, what you do is you roll it up. Oh, right? I see. You, you roll, roll it up. like this. Do you yeah. just start here or just kind of Yeah, just start there one? and roll it up. See? Well, it's squeezing out. That's how easy it is. All right? The excess we just put on the next one. All right? Okay. You can leave it right there. Don't move it yet. <laughs> there you go. You're doing good. There. The next one. Let's see how you do on the next one. Okay. Got you got to go a little bit faster. You know, you, you have a family. They'd starve to death. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. There here we go. go. Okay. There you go. Roll that one. All right. Here All right. we go. This one I will yeah, have done roll it up. all myself. Huh? You know, I, I was at uh, the state fair last week, and everybody's telling me how they love for me to get your hands dirty. Well, I know. <laughs> I know, and I hate that. I'm wearing my ring today, too, so yeah. I can't get my hands dirty. It's, it's only fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah. all that garlic on there, man. Yeah. I... This, this, by the way, is baked stuff sold. My wife says it's poached sold because we do it in liquid, but it's you can call it whatever you want. We're actually going to bake it. Okay, okay so roll that one up. That stuff in there. Okay. All right, roll that up. Okay. All right. Now, what you need to do is put a little bit of uh, put a little bit of chicken stock into the electric skillet. All right. I don't put no stock in chickens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You put a little chicken stock in the electric chicken skillet. Stock. Yeah, it's hot, so it might spatter a little bit. Well, yeah, just pour it. Just pour it. You're just gonna, pour it. And it's yeah, about spatter. Just a little bit. It's not going to be too bad. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. This way, we don't use any oil or anything. Then you okay. just put these in there. I don't want my f my hands to smell like fish because I got to go someplace after the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, you got to go to jail. Yes. I know. <laughs> going to Hooters. All right. Now, oh, here we go. what you do is you let them bake for a few minutes, and then what you do is pour the spaghetti sauce around them. You want to do that now? Yeah, you can do that now. Well, they're not baked. Well, they're close. They're close. Okay. Just right, don't pour it on them. Just pour it kind of around them. You, you can't hit them? No, Will don't it? hit them. Pour it around them. Well, this is going to be hard there to do. Very oh, good. I hit one. Oh, you hit one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not I'm bad. And that looks really nice, doesn't it? That looks... Is that good? Well... Hey, you know, this only cooks up in about five minutes, just till the, the fish is not... Uh, so you can't see through it, so it's a white color. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished. All right? There it is. Oh. That's baked stuff sole. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. You get that under the mirror. You just garnish... So you it. Isn't that something? Wow. Now, you just garnish with a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of parsley, or you can put a little bit of basil on it. I got fresh basil and chives, or you can use green onions, and it's absolutely delicious. And you eat this together, we're soul brothers. <laughs> Brother. No good. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go over here to David, who, uh, by the way, David, I found out David's dad is in the audience. We were asking about his heritage. He is Polish and didn't know what, uh, what is it? Trey... Trey Paz. Trey Paz. Didn't know what Trey Paz mean. And we found, it, found out from your dad it means what? Uh, horse brushers. Horse brushers. <laughs> so now you know it's horse brushers. Okay, give it a try. See what you think of this new creation. Oh, wait. Joe's going to toss us something here. Here you go, David. You may need a few Tic Tacs after this, or you're not going to be able to find a girl down here in Florida and take her back with you. In fact, they won't even get near you. How does that taste, by the way? It's very good. Hey, there you hear it. And if horse brushers think it tastes good, it must be good. If you'd like to copy this recipe, send a stamp self-dressed envelope to Bake Stuff Soul, Box 888, Tampa 33601. And you, like David, and all the other horse brushers out there can be enjoying this big hand for Charles Knight. We'll Thank be you. back with a lovable Twitter in just a moment. First of all, 